Hey everyone, welcome on Davis Tech. So in this video, we are going to work on the individual chat page and we are going to make this layout like we have in a WhatsApp. So this is the layout of the own messages and this is the layout of the other messages. And we are going to work on this thing. Also, we are going to add the background images of our individual chat page. So please watch the video at the end so you can achieve this kind of layout on your WhatsApp clone. Also from the next video onwards, we are going to start the connection between this chat app with the chat backend server with help of the socket IO. So please have a patience and let's start the coding. So let's start the coding and when we start the coding, we have to go on an individual chat page. In the individual chat page, the, our layout is look like this as of now. So I downloaded the background image of the WhatsApp which is look like this and you can get the link of this image on the description. So go on a description and download this image first. So after downloading the image, we have to set that background image to our individual chat page and how we can set it to set that thing. We have to use the stack because the first children of the stack will be the image, which will be a background image. And the second children of the stack will be the, I mean, uh, this text form field and the all the messages. So because of that, I'm going to wrap this scaffold with this uh, with the stack widget. OK, so I have to wrap it with the stack widget. And the first children of the stack will be the image dot asset. So let me use the image dot asset because we are going to use the background image. That's why we have to use the image dot asset. And keep a thing like uh, I put that background image on the asset folder here. OK, so I put it that image on asset folder and in perspective.yaml file, we specified that thing, that asset folder. That's why we can exit that image to our individual chat page. OK, so make sure put the image on your asset folder and specify and specify that asset folder here in a perspective.yaml file. We already did this thing while configuring the SVG file. OK, so here we have to provide the asset name. So the name is assets, which is the folder name and we have to provide the. The image name, so what will be the image name image name for my case is WhatsApp underscore back. So. WhatsApp. Underscore back. Dot png and for the safer side what i do like i just go on a rename and control a and control c because i don't want it to do any mistake while putting the name so i put it the name of the asset i mean the background image name and after putting it we have to provide the height and width of this asset so we have to put the image on a background of this uh, page so we have to put the height to the media query dot op context dot size and the whole height of any screen. Also, we have to put the width of this image. So let me put the width of this image with help of again with the media query. Then if I will hit the save, then you will see not happen anything here because we added the background color of the scaffold. So put the background color of the scaffold to transparent. So if I will again hit the save, then you will see the background image of the WhatsApp came here. Also, we can add an additional parameter called fit to box fit dot cover. OK, so now we added the background image of this individual chat page. So after adding the background color on the individual chat page, we have to work on the two thing. This is the own message card. OK, so this is the naming convention I'm going to use this card. I'm going to tell it's a own message card and this card I'm going to tell the reply card. OK, so we have to make two file. First file will have the layout of the own message card. And the second file will have the layout of the reply card. So let's go. In, let's make that thing. So inside the 
custom UI. I'm going to make a new file that will be a own message card dot dot file and inside it I'm going to import first a material dot dot package and after importing the material dot dot package I'm going to create a stateless widget and the name of the stateless widget will be own message card and I'm not going to return a container over here I'm going to return a constraint box from here because if you go there so let me just uh, return the constraint box from here so because why I'm using the constraint box because if you see that if I will type hey then it will take space up to this and if I will type the long message then it will going to take the space like this so because we have the minimum width and the maximum width of this card that's why we have to use the constraint box so constraints box provide the constraints and let me put the constraints over here we have to use the box constraints for it here we have the property called minimum width maximum width all those kind of thing that's why i'm using this constraint box okay so in a constraint i'm going to provide the maximum width of this widget the maximum width of this widget will be the media query dot op context dot size and dot width minus 45 why i added it the minus 45 so if you will go there then you will find that there is an extra space we left here so that is a kind of padding that's why i just minus the 45 from the whole width okay now after the adding the constraint of the constraint box we have the child parameter as well so i'm going to use the child card so in the child in so in the card we have to provide the color of the card so what will be the color the color will be greenix so i have the color code and you will find the color code uh, on a description as well so the color code will be d c f 8 c 6 okay and after adding the color we also have a children i mean child parameter of the card so in the child i am going to use the stack why i am going to use the stack again because if you see in, in this card you will find two things the first thing is the text and the second thing is the time and the right click to achieve this layout we have to use the stack the first children of the stack will be the text and the second children of the stack will be this time and the icon okay so that's why I'm going to use the stack and let's provide the children of the stack. The first children will be the text. Let me put hey as of now and the second children will be the row. Now why row? Let me explain that thing as well. I'm going to use the row because of this thing because we have two things here. The first thing is the time and the second thing is the icon. So that's why we have to use the row. So let me provide the children of the row. So the first thing is the text widget to put the time. So I'm putting the time 2058. And the second thing we have to use the icon widget. And the icon will be icon start done. Done all so as of now we are not doing the styling part we are just adding the all the thing and we have to use this own message card inside the individual chat page if you go on the individual chat page inside the body we also added the list view where we are going to put the messages i already told that part as well so let me add the children of the list view as of now later part when we connect this individual chat page with help of the socket IO then we are going to use the list view dot builder but as of now I'm going to use the list view and here I'm going to put the own message card okay whenever I will click there then automatically own message card file is imported over here so don't forget to import the own message card file if you are using it okay 
so here I added the own message card and if I will hit the save then the own message card will come here and you can see that I know it's not looking great as of now so if I will go on a own message card and I will put the constraint box I mean I will wrap this constraint, constraint box with another widget called align and I will add the alignment to the alignment dot bot center right and if I will hit the save then it will be aligned to the right and also I will wrap this row widget to the position widget so let me wrap the position widget first why I am wrapping this row widget with help of the position widget because we have to put the time and the right click on a bottom right corner so I'm going to provide the bottom of this position widget to 4 and right to 10 and I'm going to hit the save also we have to add some padding on a hit text as well so let me add some padding and I'm going to wrap this text widget with help of the padding and I'm going to provide some padding all the corner so I'm going to provide the left to 10 right to 30 top to 10 and bottom to 20 and let me hit the save now I added some padding over there okay now let me do the styling of the hair takes so here I have to wrap here I have to provide the style detail of the text style and what will be the phone size of this thing the phone size I'm going to use is the 16 and I'm going to hit the save maybe I can reduce the top to 5 and I'm going to provide the margin of the card as well because I had to add some padding between I mean I had I had to add some space between top and right corner of the card so I'm going to use the edge inset dot symmetric and I'm going to provide the margin horizontal 15 and vertical 5 and I'm going to hit the save okay now let me go there and provide that style of this text as well style text style and uh, here I'm going to provide the phone size to 13 and also the color to colors dot gray so I'm making the thing look like the whatsapp one so after adding this if I will hit the save then this thing will be changed also let me provide the size of this icon as well the size will be 20 I'm going to hit the save and it is not looking like the whatsapp one as of now because let me add some padding to 80 so if I will hit the save so you can see that we added some padding so let's put it like 60 okay now after that let me just add some padding between the sticks and the icon with help of the size box I'm going to provide the width to 5 also one thing I have to do on an individual chat page that the list view have a property called shrink wrap and let me put this shrink wrap to true and let me hit the save and go on here and one thing we have to complete is I have to add the elevation of the card as well to 1 
and we have the shape property of the card as well so let me add the shape to the rounded rectangular border and uh, in the rounded rectangular border we have the border radius and i'm going to use the border radius dot circular and i'm going to provide eight and let me hit the save and now we did it and if i will increase the size of the text and if i will hit the save then you can see it is looking like the whatsapp card okay so this is the own message card and we have to work on the reply card as well so if i will go on a custom ui and i will make a new file that will be a reply card dot dot and what i'm going to do that i'm just going to copy whole code of the own message card and i'm going to paste the code on a reply card and let's make the changes first make first change is we had to change the name to own message card to reply card and the second thing we don't need a color over here because the reply card color is a white color so i'm going to comment it out and the second thing we don't need row because we don't have a right click icon on the reply card so we have to remove the row widget from here and put the text widget only so i'm going to remove it row widget but first let me delete these two things because we don't need it and instead of this row widget i will simply put the text widget and i'm going to hit the save and let's use this reply card on the individual chat page just after the own message card so i'm going to use the reply card and when i will click here then automatically the reply card file will be imported in this file and i'm going to hit the save and i will go on a reply card and what i will do that i will change the alignment instead of the center right i'm going to use the center left and i'm going to hit the save and it will come on a center left and let's simply put hey over here and now what i'm going to do i'm just going to copy it and i will tell you what the last thing we have to do so i'm going to copy and paste again and again and uh, here you can see see that thing like some of the messages are overlap with this thing the text form field to remove that thing what we have to do that we have to wrap this list view with the container widget and in the container widget i have to provide the height so what will be the height i'm going to use the media query dot op context dot height i mean dot dot size then dot height and i'm going to minus 140 from here because some of the space is taken by the this text form field only so if you see there the, all the text are came here because i added the container height and now it's not going to take the height of this uh, this text form field okay because of that uh, we were overlapping with this so now all the thing we wanted to achieve in this video is completed you can see that the layout is looking like the whatsapp on and all the things are working perfectly so from the next video we will start making the connection between this chat app to the backend server with help of the socket io so don't forget to subscribe this channel also share the video to your friend and like the video to motivate me thank you all happy coding see you on our next video